what's up? Is anybody here? We're telling your followers that you started a thing. What's up, guys? Um, let's let some people get here. Um, thank you for your questions. I'm in the creepy room of the house. Um, <clears throat> how are you guys? Hello. Hi, hi. What you doing? Brazil. Hi from Sweden. How are you guys doing in Sweden? I imagine Sweden's a pretty cool place to be through all this. Um, you Swedes are like very, very good at taking care of people and being in crisis. Hi, Hooper. Um, my name's David. I play a character called Jim Hopper on Stranger Things, but uh, I'm only called Hooper by people who don't know the show. Just pretend to. So, hi from Kuwait. Wow. How are you doing in Kuwait? Hi from Canada. This is amazing. Look at all these people. Do you have TikTok? I do not have TikTok. I'm sorry. I was told I should get TikTok. Hey, everybody, I think we got a bunch of people here. Eventually, I'm going to turn on some lights, but you know what it is? It's uh, the quarantine live show with David Harbour, possibly Lily Allen. I'll come down here and say hello. But you know the first thing we do on the David Harbour live show? I'm going to make it the first thing we do. We're going to go wash our hands all together. Just because of my own levels of panic and paranoia. Let's go wash our hands. So, I'll wait. You guys don't have to type. We'll get to... Sweden is not a fun place to be. We're not allowed to go out. Well, I don't think anybody's really allowed to go out. Or at least, maybe you're, not, maybe you're not allowed, but you're not supposed to. All right. Stop typing. Let's go. Walk over to the bathroom. Um, this is a house by someone that really knew that, um, I think we're going to be in for much longer, but I think we have another place to go. Um, so I don't really know very well, but there is this bathroom here. Oh, look at this. It's got strange plaid walls. God, this is so British. What's up with you English people? All right, come on, enough talk. Let's get to it, shall we? You know how I like to, oh. <laughs> I can't see you because of uh, your trap behind a baseboard of a mirror. Um, you know how I like to roll? I don't let anybody fucking tell me what to do. I know there's a lot of children on this, and I imagine you have child fans, and you should never say that word. Um, Except, except during a global pandemic. I feel like that's the time when you're allowed to. So then I've just authorized all of you, 11 and 12 year olds. As, as long as you're nice to your parents and you just settle down, read books, try not to stress your parents out more than they're already stressed out. And all that insatiable energy, if you just channel that into being quiet and still and not wanting to do anything, I'm sure parents of all around the world would be psyched about that. All right, everybody. Here we go. You know how I like to roll. I don't, you know, I don't turn the faucet on first. I go and lather up. You know, it was uh, recommended to me yesterday that I did actually miss a piece of my hands. I missed under my nails. That seems rather important. So I'm psyched that somebody told me that. Um, so we're going to like play around some of our nails. I have uh, relatively long nails too for a, a dude. Um, so yeah, let's get under our nails, shall we? Do it. Up, lather, that, up. I'll turn, oh, if I turn on the hot water, I'm gonna lose you to the ether. Okay. All right, hot water. Cold water. <laughs> and uh, you can watch me do this. And look at my chin. Turn it off, turn it off, do a little towel action. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's me, juked me. Um, yeah, I'm in England. Okay, 
So we've washed our hands. Tried them. Well done, everybody. We've done one good deed in the pandemic. We've said I love you to our most vulnerable in society by protecting them with some antibacterial soap from our hands, which is how this horrible illness is transmitted. So what's up, people? Listen, uh, you know, I don't know how to do this. I should turn on some more lights, shouldn't I? This is like terrible lighting. Although I feel like I probably look better in some, you know, dark lighting. Hi to Cassidy. Um, hi, Kayla. What I did was, because I don't understand Instagram, is I wrote, I scrolled through your questions, which were a bunch of them, and I um, took a bunch of snapshots, and I just emailed them to me, because I, because you can't really, um, like, do the Instagram live thing, and also, you love my shirt and my face? Yeah, the shirt's cool, right? This shirt is one of the only shirts I brought from New York um, when I got on a plane to see my lady and her kids. And uh, Lily loves this shirt. It's Edwin, this Japanese like company. Um, but I, I wear it every day. Um, I did purchase on Amazon some things. I purchased a pair of pants that were 10 pounds and two shirts that were eight pounds each. And uh, the pair of pants is fashion jeans. And so they had a lot of accoutrement. They had like little like flaps and flares and they were very tapered down. They had pockets and they were black and gray, sort of splash painted. Um, they were not very attractive. Um, they were not very attractive at all because I only had I only brought two pairs of pants too so the shirts are not very attractive either so I think that stuff will be coming with me but will be worn um, sparingly so this shirt you will probably see a lot unless I decide to go to a store and try to socially distance the hell out of it and buy a shirt but that's not going to happen yet. Yeah, I'm in Britain. Um, and we just saw Boris Johnson speak, um, give a speech about sort of a stricter quarantine. And I think that's a good idea, certainly for the next uh, 14 days. Um, and I hope people take it seriously. We certainly are taking it seriously. Um, we're, we can't stay in here anymore so we have to go to another place but that's the only sort of movement we'll be doing um and then we'll be hunkered down and uh yeah we're just gonna try to do what everybody else does which is just quarantine the hell out of ourselves try to stay sane hi from poland love you also i did wash my hands i love you sarah lopez 101 for washing your hands and taking this seriously amazing okay look so I pulled up on my computer a bunch of your questions. And I'm just going to scroll through them and we're going to do some questions because I don't really have an article or anything interesting or enlightening to say about this global pandemic or um, life in general. I'm just sort of a dude who wants to answer some questions tonight. I'm not always that dude, but tonight I'm just the dude who wants to answer some questions. So, here we go. Um, there's a question in Arabic, I think, and I don't speak it. Um, Wesbiz2. Wesbiz2, are you there? You, um, you said, how's it going? Uh, it's a great question. You know, it's up and down, Wesbiz. Sometimes, you know, I'm like running around and feeling good and, you know, I mean, running around sort of this place, um, reading, like playing with these kids, like feeling like life is a precious, amazing thing, and, you know, feeling like 
you know, really, you know, like I love life, which I normally do. And then sometimes I'm just panicked that I'm, you know, I'm going to die of this disease or I'm going to give this disease to other people and they're going to die. And, um, and I really don't want that. And I really don't care how much the economy tanks. I think if we get through this with minimal loss of life, I'm totally fine with economies tanking. I just really don't like this specter of, um, you know, this virulent microbe that uh, we all sort of feel. And, you know, sometimes throughout the day I self-diagnose and I think I feel things and there's all these things and it's, you know, panic is a true thing. And so I try to, like, in those moments, just go back to myself and just, um, you know, take it a minute at a time. Just remember to breathe. Um, and remember that um, all of us are sort of meant for something bigger than our own self-preservation. And I think when I'm connected to that, it's a really great thing. And when I'm just connected to survival and self-preservation, I feel like a dog or something. I could just, you know whatever so great question do you think you could beat this is Nelson Conroy do you think you could beat Chris Evans in a shield fight um, I do hope you guys know that I am not the Red Guardian he's not Captain America um, so if we actually had a shield fight I don't know what that would look like it wouldn't look as good as in the movies because most of the shield fighting is done by our stunt doubles um, do I think I could beat him in a shield fight I don't know I mean he's pretty strong I'm going to say no but I think I'm sneaky and I would give him a run for his shield money. Um, Shakira buys, when can I go to Stranger Things? I mean, you can sort of go any way you want. You, there's three seasons on Netflix. You can't, you know, I mean, you can go. I don't know if Stranger Things exists. Here's another question in a language I don't understand. Did they make celebrities sign something that they must go live during this coronavirus? Uh, sh- uh, <laughs> we did. Wow, that's really funny. We did. We got together. It was sent out by the Screen Actors Guild. Um, and it was like, will you... No, it didn't even say... It was just, you must all go live and annoy people because your skills are very unuseful in this time. And we're not going to let you create entertainment. So what are you going to do with all this, like, wanting to be on camera? You're going to go online and do live. So, you know, we all suffer. Um, I'm just glad you're alive, unhealthy scalp or not. Wow. You know what, pal? We all got problems. Any tips on how not to be bored? Um, not off the top of my head. I mean, read books, you know. Uh, think about things you can do. I think it's a good time to be bored. You know, there's always TV and movies and video games and these things that are content. But it's also like a good time for reflection. If you find good ideas and books, like a cool thing to do that I do sometimes, if I have the steadiness for it, is I'll just take a cool idea or something and just reflect on it and reflect on, you know, for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes and reflect on the significance that it has in my life or what that means truly in a big level. And... I feel like reflection is something we get so little of. And now that we're all quarantined, like, it gives you a lot of opportunity. So, and it can help you stay not bored because it, it's just like something that arises from your own brain. What's your favorite animal? Uh, my favorite animal is a Australian white tree frog. They are these um, fat, bluish-green frogs. And they, uh, I used to collect them. Not collect them. I used to have an aquarium with, like, four or five of them. And at one point, I even tried to make them breed, which requires um, them being rained on for 18 hours a day and having a foot of water in their cage. So I had to build an entirely new aquarium. And I had to put a sump pump and uh, PVC piping above so that it could rain 18 hours a day on these men and women frogs. And they still weren't into each other. And they wouldn't, you know, do what they were supposed to do. So I didn't get any new frogs, but I love Australian white street frogs. Look them up. When will you come to Brazil? That's a great question. I mean, when this is over, and then I'd love to come to Brazil. 
when SD4 is coming, who knows? We're shut down now. It's supposed to come out, you know, early next year, I think. And although I don't have authority on this, and now um, I don't know. That'll probably be pushed back. I mean, hopefully we can get back to work, but I don't know what that looks like. Um, why did Hellboy fail in your eyes? <laughs> Um, that's a great question, the amazing spider cop. Um, I think it failed before we began shooting because I think that people, um, didn't want us to make the movie. And for some reason there was like a big, you know, like, I mean, Guillermo del Toro and Ron Perlman sort of created this iconic thing that we thought could be reinvented and then... You know, the, the, certainly the internet, the loudness of the internet was like, we do not want you to touch this. And we were sort of in and, you know, and then we made a movie that I think is fun. And I think, um, you know, had its problems, but it was a fun movie. And then, you know, people were just very, very against it. And that's, you know, people's right. Uh, but I learned my lesson in a lot of different ways. Can you be my dad also? I love you. Please respond. Sarah Lopez 101. I think I said hi to you, Sarah, before. Um, um, I can't be your dad. I can't be your dad. Uh, favorite song? God, I like, I like a lot of songs. I mean, I like some pretty, what people, cool people would consider bad music. Cool people like my girlfriend would consider bad music. Um, like, I, I like the song Jar of Hearts. I really like that song. Sorry, cool people. I also like a band called The Hold Steady. And, um, they have some band, some songs uh, from this album called Separation Sunday, which I really like, like uh, Chips Ahoy and um, Your Little Hood Rat Friend. Um, um, yeah, I really like The Hold Steady. They're like rock and roll. Can I join your live video, Lauren Sweeten? Yeah, if I knew how to do that, Lauren. How do I do that? What Go live with. Wow, Lauren, are you here? Lauren, if you are here, I'm going to totally go live with you. But I can't. How do I find you? A lot of people want to go live, and there are not... It is not alphabetical, Lauren. Lauren, if I just happen upon you, if I just happen upon you, we could go live, but I can't. I just can't find you, Lauren. Oh, Lauren, this was our our missed opportunity. Um. Anyway, sorry, Lauren. Sorry, everyone else. I'll go live with somebody else later, though. That looks like fun. What is it like being in movies? That's a good question. Oh, doom, oh. Or zero doom zero or just doom. Um, it can be at times really, really fun. And like I think most of the time I just pinch myself that I'm in movies at all. Because, you know, I was a kid like anybody's a kid when I was growing up. And I watched like Indiana Jones in the movie theater. And I thought like, um, you know, I just thought it was way out of reach. And it is way out of reach. But I kind of like dealt with a lot of rejection and a lot of failure and a lot of learning and a lot of um, sort of tenacity and I also had a lot of help you know I had a big support system and I had people that loved me through all that failure and all that um, all those difficult times so you know I'm still grateful like my worst day of shooting is better than my best day not shooting um, so that's really you know, a nice thing about my job. But the other thing, though, is movies can be frustrating because, um, what's frustrating about movies? Let me tell you about real stuff in movies. So, movies, um, first of all, you can work extremely long hours, and everybody works extremely long hours. Sometimes you work six days a week, uh, 14 hour days, 15 hour days, and it can get very tiring. And also probably the worst thing about movies as an actor is you have to wait for setups. So sometimes you'll wait for three or four hours for a scene to set up with lighting after you've rehearsed it and it's just, you're just sitting around. And my buddy Alan Arkin, <laughs> I just dropped that name, whatever. He 
is a big meditator and he um he loves it because he just meditates uh in his trailer and then goes to work um so that can be very frustrating and i did used to find i mean now i'm sort of much further along in my career and so i'm sort of higher on the totem pole hierarchy but i do find that the hierarchy of movie sets can be frustrating um i certainly when i was you know a day player and a supporting character that it doesn't i don't know people are treated very differently and um i didn't like that and then you know yeah i don't like that i don't like hierarchies but sometimes they're necessary in terms of movement moving things along on a set but i mean i don't like that about movies so much um petitions do a little jim croce dance party during live oh man cat <laughs> kiva again you guys deserve it don't you i don't know if i can get can i get spotify on this thing though i mean how do we do that like how do we get um spotify on my computer because i am i signed in oh i'm not signed in i have no idea what my login is um can i play it from my phone like it up down god is hustling you know there's so many other good jim croce songs i have to say now that don't mess around with jim is known to you there are so many good jim croce songs i highly recommend um you know, Time in a Bottle, uh, Photographs and Memories. Uh, oh, that's an album, actually. Um, oh God, there's just... I just know the lyrics, but I don't even know the titles of the song. Uh, Roller Derby Queen. There's a lot of good Jim Croce songs. Um, did you know that you could save 15% or more f from switching to Geico? Is that true, Hank Lynn 215? I didn't know. I mean, now I have no excuse. I mean, unless you're messing with me. Um, can we talk sometime through video sometimes, please? Or text will do? You know what? There is this thing, this app called Community, and I've been kind of reluctant to set it up because I'm confused by what it is but it gives me a phone number and uh, I think during this time it might be a time to set it up so I will have this community thing where um, I will have a phone number and I won't be able to check it all the time and I certainly will have you know miss a lot of stuff but um, maybe like uh, roulette wise we could text occasionally it might be nice to you know, talk to some fans without all the um, publicness of everybody else seeing everybody else's thing. So maybe I'll set up that app, uh, BXDHXE, and we can maybe talk if I catch it. When did you start acting and what was the reason? That's a big question. Uh, first acting role as well as how you felt during Stranger Things auditions. First acting role was paused due to poor connection. Oh, I'm back, okay. All right, I'm getting kind of... Um, bored with myself so let's do go live with somebody else let's see what's up i don't know who i'm gonna get oh god this is scary all right who am i gonna pick here who am i gonna pick <laughs> i want to go live with netflix but i don't know who's on the other side of that um sarah paulson are you still in here sarah paulson Wow, this would be amazing if Sarah Paulson accepts my live thing. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> I've been asking you question after question. <laughs> Are you asking about how I first got into acting? I was like, don't you want to do a play? We should do a play. Oh, we should totally do a play, but they're, no, they're never going to be plays anymore. You know? That's true. It's over because that we're not going to get people in a crowded room like you know the first time someone coughs that's the funny <laughs> thing like as an actor on stage you hate when people cough in the audience and now like, like everyone will fear for their lives <laughs> and run out of the theater 
Um, I do want to say, oh my God, my viewership just jumped. You're extremely popular. If anyone doesn't know Sarah Paulson, she's an extraordinary actress who I never see, but I knew in New York from <laughs> a million years ago. When we were children. Yeah, exactly. I have so much gray hair. You do? I do. I don't see it. That's there. It's I don't weird. see it. I got gray in my beard too. We're old now, right? <laughs> no shit. I know. I remember when I was the youngest guy in the room. Me too. I was like, I was born in 74, and people would be like, oh, you're a baby. I know. <laughs> Everyone would be like, you, oh, I? you're so talented because you're 19 or you're whatever. 19. I'm just not 19. Do you still feel like 19, though? Yeah, but my back and my neck don't feel like yeah, 19. don't feel 19. No. Um, yeah, I'm 75, so we're the same, you know, 44, 45. What month are you born in? April making you a aries april 10 oh yeah i like an aries what are you <laughs> i'm sagittarius oh yeah sagittarius are fun yeah but with a virgo i'm really a virgo i mean i don't know what's going on i'm I in talk london to you about a million things but like not with everybody in their month like i don't know are we supposed to pay attention to what people wait are do you doing? can i tell you can i tell you one of the last times i saw, uh, saw sarah paulson i'm gonna I reveal do, do you remember gonna... it i don't think you remember Barely. it because you were pretty drunk <laughs> <Barely>. <laughs> But I do kind of remember. Was it Jimmy Kimmel party? For, uh, post the I think it was. Yeah, yeah. We were at a party and uh, Sarah Paulson pulled me aside. <laughs> and I'm always honored when she gives me attention. <laughs> and she was just like, you're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, why don't you keep up with people? Why don't you hang out with people? And you're right. I'm like a recluse and I don't really like hang out with people. Then, then we have this. And you, yeah, and you were just like, you're the worst. It was so <laughs> charming and hilarious. I loved it. Um, I'm in London. For how much? Well, you can't come back, huh? I guess not. I mean. Oh, no, I there guess... are Americans. Yeah, I think you can come back here. I think you can if you wanted to. Yeah, I think you can come back. The problem is I got my girlfriend and she's got two little girls. And so I'm trying to like, you know, like keep them from driving her completely mad. And also like. I, I'd just be alone in my apartment. I was alone in my apartment for like a week and I <laughs> I don't know how people do it. Where are you? Are you with your partner and stuff out in LA? Yeah, or in I'm in California. You're in LA, yeah. yeah? Okay. How is it there? You know, I've been in my house. I'm just like, everybody's in there. I mean, I'm really doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Aren't you? Yeah, are you okay. going to the grocery store even? What are you, are you? Mm, I've been, no. I've been really Lily went the other day to get some stuff because we were like out of food and it was gonna. I was gonna start eating, you know. I don't know what this, <laughs> there's a cat that roams around that looks pretty tasty, <laughs> you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, well, I hope yeah, I see you... you sometime, not in this uh way, but in a real way. I was on yeah. your Instagram live the other day too, and I was like, Hi, David, uh... David. <laughs> David. Oh, wow. I wish I now saw I you. I didn't see. Were like somebody noticed me. You know, people get very angry. Like, they're ignoring me. It's like I can't. Uh, no, I don't. I don't you. even read the chat yeah. thing. Like I don't. I don't. Normally, it's just like Hopper, Hopper, Hooper. I like. I like before when you were like mm, Hooper is. Hooper's not a character. In the game. Yeah, exactly. Just <laughs> reveal that you watched the movie yeah. Jaws. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm not Richard Dreyfus. <laughs> Although my hairline does resemble his now. You took your um, hair off, eh, pal? Yeah, I shaved it completely. Because? Um, for the new season. There's a there's a oh. teaser out where I'm in a Russian prison and I got yeah. a shaved head. I knew you had to be in the head. Russian prison. I knew we couldn't lose. We couldn't lose Hooper. I know, you can't lose Hooper. <laughs> yeah, I could do a show without Hooper. Stranger Things without Hooper. You know what was funny was uh, we were going to do this video of it that was like super cool where you were like watching him do it. And then my hairstylist was doing it and she, did, she didn't know how to. I was like, you need to cut it shorter before you do this. And she was like, no, it'll be fine. And it kept getting like scraggly and awful. And it looked like I've never looked older and more disgusting in my whole life than with <laughs> patchy hair like around here. And then this really thick. It was like a tonsure. It was like the worst so then, tonsure in the world. So now you don't know when you're going to start. It's like, I don't know when I'm starting either. We don't know. Are when. you, what are you in production for? Well, it's about to start Horror Story. Wow. Season. And about to start American Crime Story. For wow. I'm going to do them both at the same time again. Oh my God, I should binge that again. I should binge 
Sarah Paulson and the OJ <laughs> OJ miniseries. That thing was the best thing ever. And I your still performance. Have watched it. What? I you haven't watched, watched it? it? Oh my God, you're so good in that. If you haven't, seriously, go watch the American OJ story with uh, Sarah Balls as Marsha Clark. You knew her too. You met her, right? Not till we were done, practically. Like no. Episode. Yeah, I didn't meet her beforehand. Uh -uh. So what did you do to work on that? Did you just watch her? In, uh -huh. in, yeah, did well, there you was study? so much footage. There was so much. I mean, the cameras were on in the courtroom every day. So I just, there was so much to watch. What there wasn't a lot of was, you know, that thing that there never is of a, of a public person is them just behaving privately. So, you know, and there's really the difference between the public self. Yeah, of course. Private, even though this is about as private as it gets, right? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. But I'm kind even of. performing a little no, bit. No, I'm in my bed. In my <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what is that you're clothes. wearing? Like a fleece? You look what like a mean? sheep. Yeah, it's like, it's like the inside of an Ugg boot. I'm very into it. My friend Leslie Grossman had one, and I made her give me one, and I just haven't taken it off. I'm not showering that much right now. <laughs> <laughs> be Damn, I wish I was around you. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. <laughs> it's not great right now. Well, just wash your hands. You don't have to yeah, shower. Wash just wash them. your hands. Listen, I was with you in the bathroom washing the hands. Your oh. Your internet was cutting out a lot. We were missing a lot of the oh. magic. <laughs> Shit. I'm like the worst in here. Um, <laughs> listen, I'll let you go. It's uh, it's so nice to see you. Really um, nice to see you. Yeah, I know. I can't wait to see you in person after all this is done and give you a big this. hug yeah. and try not to be the worst. Yeah, try not to be the worst. Because I miss people now. Now that <laughs> yeah, I, I now that I, I can't... can't see anyone, you're like, wow. People were people, pretty cool. People were pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right, I miss you, you Sarah. Later. Good night. See you later. Bye. Oh, we're back. We're back. Dude, that was Sarah Paulson. How cool is that? Wow. I love Sarah Paulson. I loved Sarah Paulson before. I think before I met her, she was in sci-fi fans out there. There's a movie called Serenity which is based on the Firefly series. And I, I didn't really get into the Firefly series, but I got into Serenity. And she gives one monologue on a hologram thing where she talks about these, like, Reaper people coming to kill her and her, and they're, like, at the door. And at the end of it, like, she gets killed by the Reaper. And that monologue was so good. And I was like, who is this actress? This actress is amazing. And her name is Sarah Paulson. And uh, that's another great thing about the movies is you get to meet all these people that you've admired since you were like, I mean, we're the same age. So, well, I wasn't a kid, but like, since you were doing community theater, very unsuccessful and you're like, whoa, I have loved you forever. Um, okay, I'm gonna do one more live thing. I said I was gonna be on this for like two minutes, but I'm, uh, I'm on it forever. Um, okay, let's see what we got. I do, let's see what we got. I wanna see like, um, yeah, let's see what we got. Let's get somebody like, I, I'm, I'm worried about the, the over eager fans, but, um, but I suppose you guys deserve, you know, your moment too. Um, so let's, let's do somebody who, let's do, um, Evan, there you go. Okay. Let's see if this guy wants to come on. Uh, I just requested him. I don't know if he's going to come on. He might have gone or he might be nervous. Um, I don't blame him for being either. Um, okay. So I guess you're not coming on, sir. So let's try. Yeah, I thought these were people that like wanted to go live. Let's try. Um, let's try Emily Whaley. Let's see if she wants to come live. M Whaley connecting. Hi. Emily Whaley, what's up? Good, thanks. 
What's your What's your name and where Where are you from? Um, UK. You You're where? In the UK. Uh, sorry, the connection is not great. And you're how old? Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, wow. How's it going? All right. Just a bit annoyed at this coronavirus, but yeah. And you guys, your school is shut down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And so what are you doing at home? Are you doing like homeschooling yeah. and stuff? Uh, and what does that entail? Do you have like Google Classroom? No, we're using Zoom. And you use Zoom with your teacher? Yeah. And you do like all your normal classes? Like you wake up yeah, in the morning at Yeah, it's a normal timetable. Really? Wow. That, uh, that's annoying because you don't even get a vacation from school. We get the Easter break, but... Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Are you a big fan of Stranger Things? Yeah. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> uh, who's your favorite character? Eleven. Yeah. What about her dad? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. How many times have you watched it? Um, I've watched it all once, and then okay. I started watching season one again. Oh, you did? Yeah. Nice. What's your favorite season? Three. Three, really? Yeah. Yeah? You like that whole, like, it's kind of fun. Kind of funny yeah. and, like, kind of sillier and stuff. The yeah. never-ending story and stuff. Yeah, I was laughing. So, you know, when you're doing the, where you say it's your grandma and all that stuff? <laughs> yeah, I was laughing so hard at that. The amount of times I've watched that. The blooper reel thing? Yeah. Uh, that is that day was the hardest thing I've ever had to How do. How many takes active. did you take of it? I swear it was like a hundred and fifty. I've never seen anything like it. I couldn't get through a single take, and they had multiple cameras. And then eventually, when you start giggling, I don't know if you've ever had this, but like you start giggling and then you just can't stop giggling. Yeah. And it was like an hour and a half, and everybody at the monitor was giggling. The Duffer Brothers, the cameraman was like shaking, Millie and Finn. It was just something about that word. And it was something about the fact that I said like, I think the line was something different before that, because Finn goes, is that everything okay? And I think yeah. my line was supposed to be something like, um, no, it's not. But I said, instead I said, I don't think so. And he said, what is it? And I was like, it's your grandma. But there's something about me saying, I don't think so, just to kick it off, that made yeah. it your grandma so much funnier. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. I have a <laughs> meme account of Stranger Things. and You do? Yeah. So you post, like, Stranger Things memes? Yeah. Yeah? And all as well. Um, What's the newest one you put up? It was one about the coronavirus. <laughs> Oh, was it the one? I think I saw one floating around where, like, Steve, they're all dressed, like, ready for the coronavirus, or Steve has a bandana on and stuff? Mm. I'm not no. seeing that one. No. It's oh, okay. about this, like, um, the one that I did was, like, it was saying, like, the coronavirus isn't going to stop us or whatever like that, and then it stops it and all that stuff, so. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. Are you excited for season, season four? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I hope we can go back to shooting it. Did yeah. you like the teaser with Hopper, the reveal yeah. of Hopper? The fact is I already knew he was alive because I saw the spoiler that Noah did in, I think it was Brazil. <sighs> the spoiler that shall not be named. Uh, but you know what? You fans were pretty great. Like nobody, people like kind of shut it down. I was really yeah. proud of all you 13 and 14 year olds that love Noah Schnapp and were like, we are not going to embarrass him for this. So I'm glad that you knew. And I'm also glad you didn't say much about it. Yeah. I was trying to keep everyone away from it. So good. Yeah. Part of the stranger things, uh, squad. Yeah. Well, it's really nice to meet you, Em. Thank and you. And good luck with the rest of your uh, schooling and quarantine. And stay safe and healthy and happy. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. Wow, look at that. We had Sarah Paulson. And then we had a 13-year-old fan. So that's what 
that's the like wonderful thing about Instagram Live. It's uh, you know, it's all over the place. Um, can do all kinds of different. Oh, I'm so new to all this. I kind of like. Yeah, I uh, I find this sort of fascinating now. Anyway, um, yeah, she was really nice. Oh my god! Somebody just said would love you to come back to, to and direct a theater at Monmouth. So theater at Monmouth is a theater in Maine that um, I worked at when I was uh, when I was. Um, like a thousand years ago when I was uh, how old was I? 19 to 22. Oh, hello. How do you know uh, Theater Monmouth, sir? Well, <clears throat> wait, there's no light right here. Um, so first, I mean, I've I've been in season there for like this will be my second. This no summer. way. Yes. This will be are my you in the acting company? Huh? Are you in the, are you an actor? I am. I am. I'm an actor. Uh I just got out of grad school in twenty nineteen and I worked with in twenty seventeen. And I don't know if you know You worked with who? Own. Sorry, you it broke up there for a second. You worked with who? I said I was an intern at theater at Monmouth in twenty seventeen. And I lived in Oh okay. I don't know you know about Toad? Oh, are you kidding? I lived in Toad yeah. Hall for three years. I was in so there for three your, years. Your your Hamlet picture is like still up <laughs> in Toad. <laughs> like every day, you know, there's like a hundred pictures, and I think right by my room it was you and Hamlet. I don't know what year, but like I heard it was amazing. I don't know if you know R Robin Strutt. Yeah, I know Robin. Robin's been uh, on the board there forever. Yeah, yeah. No, she she talked about it one day when we were all like at her house and she was like hosting wine and cheese and stuff like that. But yeah, no, um, I talked to her and she like brought you up and I was I think I was like, you know, it'd be really cool for him to like come back. But, <laughs> you know, I just had to like throw that in there because I know you're kind of like mom and alumni, so. I would love to, man. I'm I'm a little busy, like shooting a bunch of stuff. Like I certainly oh, yeah. know, like this yeah, year and stuff. But I, Marvel but I, it's, a, it's actually, Oh, thank you, man. Well, it's a it's a dream of mine actually to come back and direct some Shakespeare over there, though. I I love that place. It's such a like yes, beautiful. It's place. beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's one of the most gorgeous like theaters that I've worked in, and it's just so like when I return to it, it's it's lovely. And the people in Monmouth are lovely as well. Like, yeah, they're like very lovely people. Um, are you? Uh, are, so where are you now? So I live in New York. Um, I just escaped New York to come home. I'm uh, from yeah. Dallas, Texas. So I'm in okay. Dallas right now until all of this blows over. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so I, you're you're working in New York? You're or you're auditioning? Like how, how's it going? I'm, I'm auditioning. I just I just got out of grad school. I just okay. left Birmingham, in England. Okay. I got my MFA there, and oh, wow. um, and yeah, and I moved to New York in September. So in New York, I've just been like you know finding jobs, and um, um, I, I just finished Measure for Measure uh in February actually. And oh my God, I who'd booked, you play? Hmm. Who'd you play? Oh, Lucio. Lucio. Oh yeah, yes, <laughs> Lucio. He gets it in the end, Lucio. right? That was that was an experience, I'd say. Um, That's great. Now, I love that play. I played Angelo in college. I really? love that play. Oh god, yeah, I yeah, love that play. And then at Theater of Monmouth, I played Barnadine, who has like three lines or something. Who oh will my not god. consent to die yes, this day? Barnaby. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Where'd you do that? Where'd you do measure? So I did it at this place in New York called the Pit Loft. Oh yeah, it's okay. The People's Improv Theater. They have like, they have like a oh, yeah. like 30th Street or something like that. But I did it there. It was my first. Uh, well, I toured Romeo and Juliet for Monmouth, and then I started working on that. And now I'm just auditioning. You know, I'm fresh out of grad school. You know that hustle. Right now I'm just auditioning and stuff. 
looking for representation and like I just yeah. booked another thing for Mama, so I'll be back there this summer. I'm praying that that doesn't get canceled because it yeah. still works. Yeah, okay. But, Do you know what you're playing next summer? Yeah, so there's this two hander. I'm in three shows, you know, summer rep. Um, I'm in this two hander called The Agitators playing Frederick Douglass. It's oh, about amazing. him and Susan B. Anthony going head to head about, you know, um, black rights and women's rights and things like that. I'm in Cymbeline playing someone that I've never read Cymbeline. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm playing, excuse me if I say his name wrong, it's Gidarius. Uh, the only character I know in that is Yakimo, who like gets yeah, in a I, trunk to like uh, prove to some guy that he slept with his girlfriend. And then, uh, yeah. I, I don't know, that's the only thing I know about the play too. I I'm, don't know that I'm play. I'm still trying well. to get through the canon of Shakespeare. Like I've been, since I've graduated, I've been, you know, I, I've been like going through the plays like crazy. I did Othello in like, um, in March. Oh, wow. Last you March, play Othello? I, I played Othello, yeah. Oh, wow. It was in England, actually. It was connected to my grad school, but I did that. And the other one this summer is Julius Caesar. I'm playing Octavius there. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, he comes in in the end, right? And he's clean stuff yes. up with Anthony. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have not read Julius Caesar, but, like, uh, I know I know so much about it. But, That's cool, man. I can't believe you played Othello so young. That's incredible. That's uh, Yeah, it, it's crazy. I love I was, that I was trying to push for... I was trying to push for Hamlet, but my tutor, like the tutor, they were like, they were trying to think about what was best for our class. And, um, you know, we don't get to choose, but he chose Othello. And I, that probably was one of the most challenging things. That and She Stoops to Conquer, if you know about that play. Oh, I know that play. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Amazing, man. You're a real classical actor. I love it. What's your name again? My name is CJ Stewart. CJ Stewart, man. All right, man. Keep and, it up. Keep up the auditioning. So keep the faith. You're thank good you. looking dude. Well spoken. I think you're gonna go far, CJ. Thank I'll you. See you. I'll see you sometime around, huh? Either we'll we shoot will. some or we uh, be on stage. We'll bump into each other. And I'm a I love your work, by the way. Oh, I thanks, man. You. I appreciate it, CJ. All, All right. right, turn out the light and turn out the light. I'm going to bed. All right. <laughs> uh, everybody, thank you for tuning in to the David Harbour live show. I know you have a lot of celebrities to choose from with a lot of time in their hands. And, you know, we're we're pleased that you're making that choice. Um, I'm not going to take you to the bathroom after Sarah Paulson told me that the Internet's crappy in there. But I am going to tell you, wash your hands one more time after you've been on your phone for so long. But I love you guys. This is really fun. This is... This is, like, really fun. Ugh, I didn't think I'd be addicted to the social media like I am. Have a good night. Everybody stay safe, all right? And I'll see you probably tomorrow.